hey guys uh, there's a quick video for how to fix plug spring for Dodge Ram 2014 3500 as you can see it's all here apart this and that and does my clock spring <laughs> all over here but the issue is here there's a context just like their copper ones and then there's the inner one you probably can see it right there the bottom one has a crack so I'll try to solder it the issue in my case was um, the illumination buttons those were shot and also this section won't work this part is was remaining working but this one is not so you cannot go through menu sometimes it's kind of works sometimes it's not most of the times it's not working right now so before I ordered the part I was trying to fix that looks like it's a mess to put it back but hopefully I'll figure out that out how to put it back together and um, we'll see okay I'll try to do the dog for hold that thing in one place because I'll need two hands create a lot of mess here oh I just need to one small drop from there that should be enough Yep, it's, it's fixed for now, so it should work. Okay, now we're gonna put it back together. Uh, it's not really designed to be taken apart. the first step we have to put it this thing and then we're gonna go over and add it some white looking grease so it will slip but here a few tabs that I broke all together that's how it was initially and then there's a metal clip That's the trickiest part actually, to put it back to black screen. That's the really pain in one place. You know which one. Okay. As you see here, 
Online. So I'll line that thing first. That. That's why I did it earlier. We should go around this way. Or eventually the opposite way. This and more. No. Back. That's the trickiest part. You have to be really patient. I'm not really patient today. Well, yeah, there you go. You see how it's flat? So it will be flat from here, all the way. So this one is aligned, and that one is also aligned. So let's try it one more time. Okay. What we can do now, that's the main housing. So once it's all together like this, put it back like that. And now, we have to figure out how to do that thing. Yes, I know how to do this. Can't believe this, it's happening. There you go. That's how it looks like guys when it's all together. Uh, so when it turns, that's what happens. It's just itself a bear inside the sea. That's the very end. And then One. I'm pretty positive that's how it's supposed to be. Um, it's all lined up. So what I did, um, first put this wiring all together until you can put the very last one here, your wires through here, the last one you're not trying to tighten it, but you lose. Then you have the spare enough to get around it. Yeah, first time when I tried to do that, it didn't work, but now it's worked out. So all I have to do to put a little bit uh, white lithium grease on it. It's really tricky, but kind of doable. If I can do it, you can do it too. Alright, that's the cover. That's the pin here. 
So sure it matches. That's the only way to install it. And also it closes this passage. This passage has also help you to put back all this wiring together and line up. Works perfect actually. Well, yeah, you see, it's nice and smooth and looks like that's how it's supposed to be. Actually, never seen myself how it works from inside. Now I know. Yeah, perfect. It works. That's it. That should be the end of it. So to close it, we will need this thing. Let's just oh no, this way. This. There's a clips from inside, all you just do is just push it. And that's will be all. So together now. Now it's not gonna separate. So and now we can put these things back also. Any clips. Done. Done. That was a repair of it. And now we can put it back this the housing all right that's the thing okay so uh our steering wheel turns uh, one turn and a half. So if we have two turns complete each side, that will be sufficient. So now it's dead end here. We have kind of half turn. So if we do one turn and another turn, that will be perfect to be aligned right there. So if we turn one turn here, one turn here, and back, back, that's the center, and another one, another one to the right, works perfect, no restrictions, and it should work, so that's the alignment of the clock screen, and I hope it's, this thing is gonna work, the installation is fairly easy, all we just do install it here, there's the two screws here, one, and on the bottom, another one, not sure if you can see it is there or not, but that's the uh, that's the hole. So you just make sure you put it back all these connections back where it's supposed to be. Connectors are hooked up. There's a two on this side. There's the third one. So after it all sits in here, we need to put steering wheel. So when you put steering wheel, make sure this wiring comes through this area right here. 
and then there's a, a clock spring aligner pin should be here on the bottom and the steering wheel shaft has um, two passages on top and the bottom you cannot really install a wrong direction it's only one one way it fits on the shaft okay um, after it's all assembled I'm gonna plug it in that's my clock spring hooked up so pretty much all the switches now supposed to work if it's fixed we'll check it out working I can browse through through everything and then also my horn is not wasn't working it's working now perfect so all it's left it's put, put it back everything our airbag has two contacts here and then those three clips uh, I saw some video on YouTube how to release them I'm not gonna record myself but you guys can go to YouTube and check it out some guys posted videos how to remove that uh, to put it back is fairly easy you just hook up the wires and just align it and click it very easy all right so uh, so it's fixed it works hope it will last some there's also bracket that comes with it I'm not sure what it's designed for it or what um, but it goes this way and then you put the screw I really suggest you not to go too crazy tightening the steering wheel. I believe I checked the torque specs, it's about 20 or maybe a little bit more, but it's not gonna go anywhere from here. Trust me, usually the steering wheel is really hard to remove. So the last thing is left to do. The last thing left to do is just put it back the airbag. So all we just do that's it it's all assembly and then of course you have to put those covers back and the bottom covers everything that I removed just to assemble it so let's double check again the airbag light will come off itself won't stay on once the system is fixed and everything is back um, it should clear itself boom it all works if you notice I have everything on uh, German uh, I don't know what's going on with the RAM but when I used scan tool for it and did reset you change the language and there is no way you can change the language back to English through the menu it's, it's just it's not there it's not changing when you change the language here it changes language here that's not a mystery of the Dutch I don't know how to solve it probably the dealer should reflash something but I already understand what it's what it means so not really you need to do that so perfect all working awesome one more last tip for you um, when you take apart a uh, clock spring when you remove it uh, make sure you keep original housing in there it's right there um, under the cover you don't remove that and all you just do you just remove the clock spring itself why because uh, yesterday when i put it back when i assembled all this stuff together so i had um that light on which is a stability control it's not traction because traction it's not a light or it says off then there's a similar sign and it's stability control uh why it happened because um my steering angle sensor got off the calibration 
So to prevent that, before you remove uh, steering wheel and everything there, just park your truck straight with the steering wheel straight, completely, like just like that. And then uh, remove just the clock spring, and then you can fix it. Uh, you can uh, calibrate as I, as I showed you earlier, and then just install it back, so you will prevent all these further problems. How I got calibrated, uh, I have a friend of mine, he, had, um, he has a professional scan tool, so I removed everything, and there is a gear that uh, connects the clock spring with the sensor. And, uh, you know, watching the gauge in the, in the scan tool, we just found the zero, zero degrees. And then I put this uh, clock spring back and uh, we reset the computer and there's no cause anymore. So if I start the truck, there is no cause as you can see. I turn the steering wheel, nothing happens, no lights. And those switches are working. Thank you for watching guys, be safe.